Hello and welcome to St. Jude's Children's Liturgy of the Word for February 28th. It's the second Sunday of Lent. Now let's stand up and sing our opening song. We remember how you loved us to your death and still we celebrate for you A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what can we say about all of this? If God is on our side, can anyone be against us? I'm sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not life or death, not angels or spirits, not the present or the future, and not powers above or powers below. Nothing in all creation can separate us from God's love for us. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is, the Lord is kind and merciful. With all my heart, I praise the Lord. And with all that I am, I praise his holy name. With all my heart, I praise the Lord. I will never forget how kind he has been. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is merciful. He is kind and patient, and his love never fails. How great is God's love for all who worship him, greater than the distance between heaven and earth. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
May the word of God be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart as we say, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him and went up on a high mountain where they could be alone. There, in front of the disciples, Jesus was completely changed, and his clothes became much whiter than any bleach on earth could make them. Then Moses and Elijah were there talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Teacher, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But Peter and the others were terribly frightened, and he did not know what he was talking about. The shadow of a cloud passed over and covered them. From the cloud, a voice said, This is my son, and I love him. Listen to what he says. At once, the disciples looked around, but they saw only Jesus. As Jesus and his disciples were coming down the mountain, he told them not to say a word about what they had seen until the Son of Man had been raised from the dead. So they kept it to themselves, but they wondered what he meant by the words raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, good morning, boys and girls. You caught me in my kitchen over here at St. Jude. I am getting ready to make a surprise for my friend who loves oatmeal cookies. Do you like oatmeal cookies? Well, I have got most of my ingredients right here. I got my oatmeal and I got my baking soda and I got my baking powder and I've already kind of pre-measured everything and I've got my bowl here, but I've got a problem. I put the baking soda and the baking powder in little cups, but they look so much alike that I can't tell which one is baking soda and which one is baking powder. And I don't know if any, any of you have ever cooked, but if you use the wrong ingredient in a special recipe like oatmeal cookies, it could ruin the whole recipe. So you can see that I really got a problem. I need to prove which one is baking soda and which one's baking powder. Well, I remembered that in science class, I learned that if you mix baking soda in with vinegar, then it will react, it will transform, and we will be able to see if it's the baking powder or the baking soda. So let's do this. Got my measuring cup. I'm gonna pour some vinegar, some vinegar in there. All right, so I guess one is just the same as the other, so I, I will take this one. See, it's white and it's powdery. It could be the powder, it could be the soda. Let's find out. If I put some of this into the vinegar, if it's baking soda, it will react, it will change. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my spoon and better hold, stand back, ready? I don't know. There's not a lot going on in there. Do you wanna see it? It's just kind of floating in there, but nothing's really happening. So I would guess that this one is not the baking soda. So I'm gonna put that aside so I don't make that mistake again. Now I've got this other light powder. It's still white, could be. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna take some on my spoon like this. Are you ready? Look at what happened. Can you see it? Oh my goodness. That is definitely a reaction. See what happened when the soda hit the, hit the vinegar? Now I know for sure that this is proof. Look, it's still proving that this is my baking soda. So this is the ingredient that I'm going to use in my oatmeal cookies. I'll put it right here on top of my baking soda box so I don't make that mistake again. Well, boys and girls, this all kind of reminds me of what's in our Bible story today. Jesus takes some of his friends up 
on a mountain. And you would think because they had spent so much time together already that his friends had a pretty good idea of who he was. We know because we know the end of the story who Jesus is, right? He's the son of God. But they didn't really know that yet. But they had spent a lot of time with him. So up on the mountain, they got their proof. They proved it because right in front of them, Jesus, much like our vinegar and soda, transformed. The, the scripture story tells us that his clothes became brilliant white and his face was bright and shiny. And, and with him were Moses and Elijah and boys and girls, they were from hundreds of years ago. They were prophets from hundreds and thousands of years before Jesus was even born. So those three things were like proof that the disciples knew who Jesus was. But not only did they see it with his transformation, what did they hear from the clouds? They heard God's own voice who said, this is my son, listen to him. How much more proof do you need than that? Well, even for us, and I can kind of understand that we know who Jesus is. We have heard about Jesus since we were itty bitty little kids. We heard about how he was born and how he taught and how he performed miracles. We know that that's what we've taught, but still there might be a little bit of doubt that sometimes we might not, we might not totally believe it. Now, are we ever going to hear the booming voice of God saying, this is my son? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But the proof that we do have, we already have. We can prove that Jesus is God's son by the stories we read in the Bible. We can prove that Jesus is God's son by the way we pray and learn about him. We can prove that Jesus is God's son by coming to church and listening to the stories of the mass, and the stories in the word of God. So do we need all this proof to prove that Jesus is really God's son? Probably not. Jesus says, blessed are the people that believe and haven't seen. And those are his words that are right here in the Bible. The Bible's true. And that is today's good news. So, I hope you have a cookie today. I hope you hear God's good word. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, now let's stand up and profess our faith. Let's answer yes, I do to the following questions. Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Jesus, the Son who suffered and died for us? Yes, I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit who guides us to do the right thing? Yes, I do. Oh God, Grant that we live a good life with your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now let's offer a prayer to someone who needs it. Close your eyes tight and think of that person. Say a little prayer for them in your heart. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. Since we can't be together at church today, we say an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy and blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Our time has ended for today, so go forth and announce the gospel. We walk by faith and not by sight. No gracious words we hear of him who spoke as none e'er spoke. Yet we believe him. Just one.